Today, I want to teach you about the value of traveling. Traveling has a lot good benefits for all of us, especially if you're an entrepreneur. This is the thing, you have to travel. So I, I, I today just put in together several points and made sure that I'm going to teach you step by step why you need to travel if you're a budding entrepreneur. If you're wanting to grow your business, you want to grow yourself, you want to grow your physique, you want to grow your mind, and whichever thing that you want to grow, traveling is a part of life. Let no one lie to you, traveling is a part of life. Now, point number one. Travel opens up to new wonders of the world. It opens you up to new wonders of the world. When I take, talk about opening you up to new wonders of the world, this is exactly what I'm talking about. We say experiment is the best teacher. When you go out, you get to experience things that you've never experienced. You get to interact with people that you've never interacted. You get to feel a feeling that you've never felt. You get to see things that you've never seen. This world is very beautiful. Things are really running up and down. Technology is different in different places, different cultures, different lifestyles. And with this, you're gaining your mind to understanding different ways of how people react to different uh, situations and how you can be able to save yourself in some situations and also how you can improve yourself, especially when it comes to doing business in a different way. When you go to a different place, you will understand people do things in a not the same way that you do it in your own place. What you think is normal to your place is abnormal, totally abnormal to other people. And what you think is abnormal to you, it is totally normal to other people. So it opens you up to new experiences to be able to understand the wonders of the world. Point number two is travel connects you with people. Now we say no man is an island and people are everything. So if you want to learn how people work and people live, you have to travel. Why am I talking about this? Why is knowing how people live important? Because when you understand the basics of how people live their life, what they do, what they like, what they don't like, from different angles, you're going to be able to understand how you can do and use the same psychology that you've learned to impact the same in your business. So learning people is an art of business. Understand. When someone looks at you straight to the eye, what does it mean? When he looks at you having his, the chin a little bit high, what does it mean? When he looks at you facing a certain side, what does it mean? When they speak and, and they, they, they give you a certain tone, what do they mean? So those are some of the things that you'll understand the much you're interacting with people through traveling. If you keep on staying in your house and keep on staying in your office, you'll never understand people apart from only the click you have in your office or in your place. So you will understand good encounters. You'll have good encounters with people. You'll find some people who are really funny. Others are silly. Others are humorous. You know, valuable people, invaluable people. And you'll know how you can be able to live with people and do business with whichever nature of people that come in place. Point number three, traveling makes you learn that fear is only an illusion. Let us be honest here. Every day the media is telling us that this has happened here, Iraq there is war, here there is war, this one is happening. Even here in Kenya, if, you, if you're living in states or you're living in another country and you check on Kenya or any other country in Africa or wherever, you will see only the bad part because bad stories sell too much more than the good stories. So it doesn't mean that what you're seeing is everything which is happening in the whole country. Let me tell you, the media only focuses on the worst things because a bad story travels 13 times more than a good story. That's a fact. So 
Whatever you see is not always what is in the ground. So travel and understand that fear is only an illusion. If there are other people living in that country, then you can survive and you can live, all right? Point number four, traveling links you up to business opportunities. Business opportunities, new clients, new ideas, new styles of doing business. You, you usually use a certain style and a certain technique to do your business, only to discover that in a different country, a different region, they sell the same product at a higher price, which you never imagined. Maybe let's say this mobile phone. In Kenya, you can buy it for maybe uh, 40,000. But in another country, or another region, they are lacking the same same mobile phone and they can be able to buy at a 60,000 Kenya shillings. So what makes you not to go and buy more and sell it to a place where they're, they, they are lacking? A good example is Bitcoin. Um, I've been trading Bitcoin for the longest time and there's one thing that I've learned when I'm dealing with Bitcoin, that the best way you can be able to sell your Bitcoin is to look for places where it is almost impossible to find Bitcoin. There are countries that it is not really easy. They don't have platforms to buy. They don't have an easier way to find Bitcoin. So you can sell to those countries. Same, same, same strategy of Bitcoin. It is used in everything. Maybe I need a dictionary like this one or I need a laptop like this. There are places where you'll never find the same or there are places where you find plenty of the same and you can buy and sell in your own place. So traveling links you up to business opportunities and can make you be able to understand even much more better how you can grow yourself and become a better person. And the final point is traveling makes you understand that money is not everything. You see, people are rushing every day looking for money. Money left, right, and center. You think that money is everything. Yes, we know money makes the world go round. We, we don't deny that. But remember one thing. It is better to buy experiences than to buy things. Things do fade, but experiences don't. Just think about it. Any of your friends who have ever gone abroad or to a different country, when they came back to your country, what exactly were you discussing about? Most of you are discussing about, tell us, how was it? How is it living here? How are people there? Do they laugh with you? Do they enjoy this? Do they eat this? Do you, you're talking about experiences. You're literally not talking about things. You'll not find you talking about, hey, when I was in uh, Europe, I used to wear this kind of shoe. I used to sleep in this kind of bed. I used to buy this. I was using this mobile phone. No. All you'll be talking about is who you met, how it was like, how were they behaving, what made you happy, what made you sad. You won't be talking about my car was this, I used to use this uh, kind of, I used to wear this kind of suit. I used to, yes, you can, you can say it just for the bit of it, but the main thing that you'll be talking about is the experiences. Because experiences will live forever, but things do fade. As I finalize, let me give you a good example of why I'm saying experiences is everything. There's a very rich guy who one day he was in his deathbed. He had cancer and he was just about to die. And the journalists were all over in his bed and they were asking him, excuse me, sir. Now, right now, you're just about to die. You know you have cancer. You've been given just a few weeks to live. What exactly is running through your mind? Kindly just tell us what exactly is running through your mind because we want to know you're a very rich guy. You have investments left, right, and center. What are you thinking? Do you know what this guy said? Right now, as I sit on my deathbed, what I'm thinking is the good times that I had with my family, friends, relatives, and the people who have always cared about me and the people that I cared about them. I remember the times we went swimming. I remember the times we went hiking. We went climbing mountains. We, the good experiences we had, that is the only thing which is giving me hope. And one of the journalists asked, what about your things? What about everything that you have? Don't you think that maybe you will hire a better doctor? And, and this is what he had to say. Doctors and all that and everything is just a passing wind. All the things that I have, the cars, the properties and everything mean nothing to me. 
what means everything is the experiences that I've had. That is a good, good story to make you start traveling right away. Kindly, if you have not subscribed to this channel, subscribe down there. There's a subscription button. Hit that notification button so that you don't miss any video because we have a lot in store for you. God bless you and have a great time. Thank you.